Welcome, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Harry's Healing Center. We're going to expand our healings here on this channel to help you heal your life. We're going to include some Reiki symbols that you can use to change your current reality, to change issues in your life, to help you heal on deeper soul levels. This is something that my guide suggested that I can give back to you and anyone following this channel here can gain great benefits if you apply the instructions from Spirit. Now we want to go straight to our topic which is all about your heart chakra. The heart chakra is um, affected by our emotional state, by the trauma in our life, by so many things that uh, can corrupt that chakra system, but particularly can lodge themselves into our heart chakra. And we want to address that. What can you do about it? And also a meditation as well as a Reiki symbol that you can work with to clear your heart chakra. Having said that, let's go straight to our choices. Here we go. Welcome group number one. We want to have a look at what's happening here with your heart chakra. Okay, your heart chakra is also affecting your solar plexus here. So this chakra, the color yellow is coming out for you, needs some more color placed into it. So with you, that means that through your visualization techniques, and I would include this in the meditation that we're going to discuss a bit later in this reading, you are to bring in a lot of this yellow light into your solar plexus, which is placed somewhere around your stomach area. And the color of your solar plexus is yellow, but that color can sometimes fade through various things in our life. And well, we won't go into all the explanations about it because this is a reading about your heart chakra. But what happens when the color fades is that this chakra is not being active. It can cause you health issues as well as your motivation. Your determination to reach your goal can be weakened. So along with your heart chakra, you've also got the solar plexus affected here. But let's get back to that heart chakra. Yes. Look, where the second card that's come out is about joy and stability. And that's what you are looking for. You're looking for this joy in your life. And of course, joy comes also through stability, because if we feel imbalanced and there isn't enough in our life to sustain life at a joyful level, then we also finding it difficult to move forwards and to bring in happiness and joy in the first place. So once again, the color yellow, lots of yellow light coming towards you. Light, working with light, and you might have heard of color therapy, this can be powerfully changing your energetic field and working with light on your solar plexus can give you a um, understanding, a form of stability that you might not have tapped into. How it works is once you start working on that chakra in conjunction with your heart chakra, so there's a little bit more affecting you here, group number one, but once you start working on this, you will find that you will be more determined in reaching your goals. Maybe new ideas are coming in. 
and you will feel empowered to take action in a certain direction here. Let's learn a little bit more about you. Let's see if they're finally going to get to your heart chakra here. Rebuilt, yes. So you have been affected by a lot because what I'm seeing is that you need to rebuild this heart chakra here. And look, the angel here is pointing directly at your heart. And once again, notice the light around it. Bringing in light into your heart chakra. This light can be pink, it can be green, it can be even another color that you sense, that you feel, that you want to draw into that chakra. To me, this says that you have had many years, maybe 16 is standing out there. Maybe you've had 16 years of trouble and issues here that have directly affected your heart chakra. So that's what we need to work on. That what That's what needs to be rebuilt. So this isn't just a a small issue. It is a much larger connection to maybe trauma, um, maybe past life issues. We'll find out about that a bit later. Whatever spirit brings out would be very, very good for you to um, apply here, group number one, because it means healing that chakra. It means moving forwards with your life. There might have been a person, male, maybe young male here, that has stopped you from having success and growing. And that is what needs to, you need to recover from. This influence, whoever this young male is in your life, you need to recover from that. Because this male was very, very stubborn. And um, you might have even, for some of you, look at that. This to me shows me that you've perhaps wanted to help this person and they were very stubborn and refused. They might have accepted certain aspects of help that you've put out there, but not to a larger extent. And maybe you became the person that had to do everything for them. And now you need to release that because that person, whoever this is in your life, has affected your heart chakra. That means then that if this person is still very active in your life, we want to think about separating, sending them away. Even if it's not um, parting on, I will never see you again, get lost get, and getting rid of this person completely. If it's maybe moving them further away and having less interaction, this is something that you need to determine. This might be very well somebody who you just can't stand having around. They might be toxic, narcissistic energy, and you're in the process of separating. You might have already separated some of you, but your heart chakra is still feeling the effects. And as I'm talking to you here, I can also feel your nervous system directly connected to this heart chakra and doing anything to calm the mind, the nervous system will lead to a heart healing autom automatically because that's what we want to get to, this heart healing. But if your nervous system is so highly sensitive and activated through stress and trauma and the drama that this person brought into your life, we need to calm that nervous system down again. So. That's something to look into. And another thing that comes out that particularly over the next 12 months, you are to observe yourself, your reactions, your actions each day, perhaps that show you where the damage lies. Are you a perfectionist? Are you doing everything to a level that is beyond <laughs> perfection maybe? And this is something that you need to move on from. They're bringing this out because I just mentioned the example of perfectionism, but this might be something else for you. You might still be um, 
stuck on substance abuse, some of you. You might be using wrong methods to cope with life and you will be made aware of that over the next 12 months your guides will be very very active this is in harmony with what i've been saying about 2024 this is a year of big changes and these changes will come in and trust me with this these changes are like big dramatic events with a very good outcome losing your job, finding a really terrific job, separating from your partner, even unexpectedly finding new love. This is what is happening. It's not drawn out. It's these big events and bam, there they are in front of you and you're going, oh no, how am I going to deal with this? And then the next few days, everything gets untangled. So that's 2024 for you. But even if you find this video, in, in another year, it doesn't mean that you're not affected by this. It might just be that this energy of 2024 has been placed in the year that you find this video. Let's learn a little bit more about your heart chakra here. <laughs> oh, goodness, here. Yes, so your heart chakra is definitely coming out. It's uh, the green in it is very important for you to place in your heart chakra to work with that, to fill it again. But as I said before, you can also use layers of pink, soft pink light, maybe blue light comes in for some of you. It depends completely on you. Trust your instincts. When you go into meditation and you focus on your heart chakra, you will naturally see that um, there's something missing. Your soul will know. And if you put this missing part in into a color, that will then bring with it a lot of benefits. We don't always have to think of these great things that you have to do to clear this and heal it. A simple color placed into the heart chakra, visualizing this on a daily basis for some of you can make a big difference here. So let's learn a little bit more. We know your heart chakra is affected, but let's learn a little bit more about this. Okay, with your heart chakra and your solar plexus, you will activate your third eye. This is naturally going to happen. I don't see you needing to do anything about it. I just see you needing to work on the heart and the solar plexus, which then will help you activate the third eye. If you want to um, dig into deeper spiritual understanding and connection, well, this is these are the two points that need to be worked on so that you can do that. Sometimes we hyper focus on either the crown chakra, the third eye, because we just want to open it. We want to have bigger spiritual understanding. We want to see our guides. We want to know things. But if your other chakras are blocked, particularly the solar plexus and the heart, well, the third eye is not going to work properly. There needs to be a balance between the chakras here. Our chakra system in alignment will bring great benefits to your spiritual life, to your physical existence here as well. Let's learn a little bit more about group number one here. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. You guys, chakra clearing. My goodness, look at that. Crown chakra. There's a message coming from your guides through your crown chakra. We're going to tap into that message. I feel very strong energy that they want to talk to you here. Let's see. Let's see what the message is from your crown chakra here through your guides. What? Reach out. Yes. <laughs> Yes, they want you to reach out to them. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and unite all of humanity. This is something that we all need to do. You might have a greater purpose here on this planet where you literally heal humanity, but there needs to be 
a healing for yourself first of all this healing is all about what we've just talked about but just this card mentioning that you're reaching out your hand and my heart to connect to and unite all of humanity reaching out to your guides to do that so if you have an important work here on this planet reach out to your guides clear whatever is sitting there because you're meant to do that you're meant to help humanity you meant to work with mother gaia to establish maybe a, a peaceful environment i'm hearing for some of you you guys literally bringing peace to this earth whatever that means to you in your situation or where you want to take your life in this lifetime here big big plans for you and no wonder you've got all these chakras coming out and healing the chakras will be important for you i find peace in nature and rest my body my and mind in order to connect to spirit so they they want to talk to you about a way to connect that makes it easier finding peace spending time in nature and connecting with your guides will help you find that deeper understanding that deeper connection maybe you want to do this meditation where you clear your heart chakra when you're in nature here let's learn a little bit more is there any more messages here no this is not coming from your guides this is just in general so you have strong guides they want to connect with you they want you to open up energy fields that you haven't tapped into yet heal yourself i am here to give you support through these videos and show you what you can do because sometimes we think we can't do it ourselves i'm saying yes you can of course you can always go and see a healer as well but it's very good if you can learn this yourself so let's see let's see what else comes out now they're talking about how you can change your life faster they're talking about meditation and connection and i meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me a daily ritual of meditation and this does not mean you have to sit there for hours a few minutes even up to 10 minutes perhaps between five and ten minutes i would suggest to start off with to meditate and bring in this energy this can help you greatly don't think it has to be complicated like we've seen simple colors drawn into your chakra system meditating connecting asking the your guides to be connected to them only work in love and light don't ever overstep those boundaries because you want to remain in the light so you can bring light to humanity to the planet here let's learn a little bit more because this is quite fascinating who you are with all all this energy well who you are <laughs> the healer look at that who you are yes you are a healer yourself let's let's read i am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others through this love that you carry and through your compassion you have been given the power to heal this card also indicates that another method that worked very well for us here is to use crystals using crystals to channel in any pain that is in your heart chakra you simply visualize the pain that you have suffered you don't have to relive that pain you just simply place whatever that energy represents to you maybe a um, black ball here that you're placing within the crystal and this dark ball represents all your troubles all the heartache that you've experienced and you're placing it inside the crystal you're taking it out of your being and you're asking for it to be transformed 
after you've meditated here with the crystal please cleanse it place it on a windowsill where the moon's energy and the sun can transform transmute that energy put it into one of your pot plants work with mother earth there's various methods of cleansing crystals do some research and use the one that suits you best you can also use a selenite bowl i've got one here in the shape of a moon and i usually place my crystals inside this little bowl particularly the um the rings and then the necklace that i'm wearing so that the energy that i picked up through the readings here will get channeled straight in there and then it'll be transformed in that selenite bowl cleansed and cleared you will find your own methods i don't clear all crystals like that i use different methods depending on the heavy energy that is inside of your energy field your chakra system your body you will have to be um, tapping into your intuition to understand what a crystal needs but that that will come in time because you are a healer open this field up a lot more work with your spirit animals another um, interesting way to connect deeper to mother earth is to invite in your spirit animal how do you know what that is the first animal that comes to your mind is the key use that animal do some research here whatever you see go and um, find out what does this animal represent in my life what is it going to bring into my life this is how you open up your spiritual knowledge and your connection your general connection to spirit let's learn a little bit more about you understanding there's lots of understanding you truly are healers and somebody that needs to activate the power within a lot deeper i understand and embrace the opposing forces in life and bring about balance it's another indication that balance needs to be restored in your own personal life so that you can give out to others on a greater scale this is repeating itself now the message here so what we want to do next is we want to go to a meditation that you can do privately always protect your energy connect to your guides of light and love as well as um, ground your energy and cleanse your energy afterwards then you have what we've discussed here where you can first of all go into um, areas of healing with light crystals perhaps that you want to use but you can split up these meditations as well this group here your symbol to draw into your heart chakra is called yori yori is pure white light I have mentioned this I think in my last video if you've heard about Yori there that is a power symbol I use Yori as a form of protection over my own body so Yori has various uses but today we want to heal your heart chakra so that you can move forwards with life so that you can succeed yori is the key for you group number one draw this symbol into your heart chakra each and every day for about seven days straight really work with this now let's tap into this past or parallel life let's see what happened to you here let's travel there is a door the third key will open this door let's see what happened to you here i can see a child you are this child and you you want attention you have very good ideas and you keep walking around and you are always asking people for um, attention or the need of for knowledge you want to know things 
and you asking your family a lot you're saying what's this mean what's that mean why do we have to do this why do we need to do that and then your parents are really um too interested in their own things they're not real nasty or anything but they just ignore you a lot too and so do other people they just just don't want to answer your questions then one day when you're about five there is a lady that moved in next door this lady is a white witch and you get interested in this lady you are fascinated with her and you keep walking over to her and you're saying excuse me can you answer these questions and she said yes dear I can but can you ask your parents that it's okay for you to see me and so you're running back and you're going mom dad mom I want to go and see this lady next door she'll say said that she would answer all my questions and your parents um go over with you and they they are concerned here and they're saying to the lady look uh, you don't mind her being here and they also want to check her out a little bit and then once they speak to her they feel comfortable with you going over and as soon as your parents return home I can see them go yes because now this means freedom for them you're not asking all these questions and here starts your spiritual journey you learn a lot from this lady and after about a year or two you start changing you start telling your parents about what you've learned and all of a sudden your parents don't like you going over there anymore in fact they became horrified as to the knowledge and understanding that you now carry that you now have that you can help others with you're also starting to get um, presents from this lady because i'm seeing you you're having crystals you're having cards there and your parents are going oh my goodness this lady is the devil you cannot be there any longer they take you to um a religious organization where they literally are, are doing some kind of work on you where they're taking out devil energy so they are performing what looks like an exorcism here on you and you're looking at them and thinking these people are crazy there's nothing wrong with this lady and you really want to go and be with the lady but she is also moving on spirit is now moving her on because she has fulfilled her mission there with you and she knows she can't help you further she just hopes that the knowledge you've had in that life is enough for you to sustain your spiritual journey here but it wasn't your parents got to you they really really bombarded you with all these other groups that you had to join Christian groups youth groups that put a whole new perspective in place here and eventually you left all the teachings behind and your parents felt like they had rescued you but you felt an emptiness you were afraid of your spiritual practices and there was an emptiness and that stayed with you throughout life and every time you heard about spiritual practices you went no 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 it's the devil's energy no we cannot touch this in this life your heart chakra was affected it never really opened up fully because first of all you didn't get the answers from your parents that you needed so the joy for life to find uh, information was stopped for quite some time for you to at the beginning of life then you opened it up through the lady next door but then your parents shut it all again and made you afraid of the true knowledge there was a lot of confusion all your chakras were obviously affected but your heart chakra i just see your heart chakra very underdeveloped this is where we want to expand this heart chakra again what you need to see is that the spiritual teachings of this lady will continue that you will be cautious as to who you share the teachings with to begin with that you will learn all there is to know and that you will establish yourself with your own spiritual beliefs here
Then you will start sharing them with the world. See that your family will respond to them positively. Those whom you want to keep within the family will respond. The rest of them will move away. So this is an opportunity also to energetically separate yourself from people that are not treating you right in your current life. So you're using this meditation for quite a large purpose here to open your heart chakra and receive light information, information that will be healing, that will help you open up all your other chakras, particularly your um, solar plexus here. Again, your, your crown, your third eye. This will all be enlightened through opening up the heart chakra, which is very small. See that heart chakra also expanding with a lot of pink or green light or any other color that comes towards you. See yourself succeed and bring light to the world and your surroundings. See yourself happy and joyful. Once you've established a life like that, that's when you leave this meditation. You walk back to the door, you shut the door behind you, you then see a, in your case, there's a Blu-ray of light coming in and it's washing into your crown chakra. I can see this blue light just lighting up you internally as well as externally so there that means that you're being given a lot of energy that clears your system here blue can also represent that clearing helping you to move on it's also very protective our archangel michael is um comes in with blue light so once you have seen that, you return back to where you are sitting or lying down, or maybe you are outside in nature somewhere, connecting with nature. Wherever you are, return to that place and thank your guides for their help. Release them from this healing and make sure that you keep a close eye on your heart chakra. Wishing you all the best group number one and sending you lots of love from Australia. Bye. Welcome group number two. Let's find out what's happening with your heart chakra. There's an expansion happening here for you. An expansion in perhaps abundance. The card talks about, I gratefully accept the abundance the earth bestows on me. So this card is all to do with your heart. We're looking at a lot of green in this card relating to your heart chakra. But it's talking about perhaps financial difficulties at the moment and there is an expansion happening. So we are going to find out how this heart chakra is connected to your financial stability and maybe your security here in this life. Perhaps you have had that throughout life where life was such a struggle that you felt um, you, you've never made it, you've never been successful, you always worried about perhaps even where your next meal was going to come from. Let's learn a little bit more about this connection of your heart chakra, the instability, and what can be done about that. So that once again, the second card, there are some changes coming. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I'm part of all creation. This is definitely forwards movement here for you. Something is changing, reigniting the passion, the fire, the understanding that you are part of a bigger picture. Maybe your upbringing has taught you that life is, is a struggle and that you will never succeed in 
this struggle that you always have to be at a level of struggling in order to survive. You've been placed perhaps into survival mode ever since you were born and your heart chakra is has suffered because now you've lost the ability to sparkle and shine here to create with the divine to really understand that you can do something about the situation. Let's find out. Let's learn a little bit more here. I take action daily that awaken my personal power. So we are also like group number one. You're encouraged not only to work on your heart chakra, but also to connect to your solar plexus. I see these two chakras for you being closely linked. So as you're working on one, it is necessarily necessary to also work on the other. Let's learn a little bit more about this connection here. The connection is that you have a unique path. The card, your own path. I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. This is where your abundance lies. So we can see that this unique path requires determination. The chakra here, the solar plexus, is the chakra that can help you with this determination. Because your uniqueness might have felt threatening to a lot of people. Perhaps even your parents have been threatened by this uniqueness. And now you need to do something about that. You need to keep working with this uniqueness or open it up further. Because that's where the abundance lies here. The financial security, the financial stability for you. So that your heart chakra feels at home here on this planet. You feel like you're being cared for and you're not always in survival mode. Let's learn a little bit more about group number two here. This is talking about reaching your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. The second thing coming out is confidence. So you, your mission, your soul's mission on this or in this lifetime is all about you reaching your dreams with confidence, which is not easy because you are unique. So you're doing something with your life that not everybody perhaps even approves of. So you need to stand on your own two feet here, which is not easy when it comes to making a living perhaps out of what this uniqueness is all about here. But keep on going because yes, your dreams will need a practical plan. But as long as they're in harmony with your uniqueness, you will achieve great success here. The heart chakra needs healing. But this healing comes in through you nurturing yourself as well as your unique abilities. This nurturing might need to take place out in nature. Maybe you always wanted to do something in nature, with nature, and you've held yourself back. And it's raining here at the moment, so I don't know whether you can hear that, but if it's raining currently in your life, then know that circumstances are changing. Healing the heart chakra is important because the confidence that needs to be built up will lead to joy. When we feel um, low vibrational energy or depression we often that that sort of surfaces in our heart chakra but any other chakra can be affected by that and can even be the initial cause of it with you the solar plexus where you've been put down where you haven't been able to be determined enough to reach your goal 
but it's all settled then in your heart chakra to produce an energy of negativity that often can translate to anxiety depression just a feeling of never being able to be good enough to reach this goal so working on the heart chakra to clear that out in conjunction with the solar plexus this will then bring you blessings and the determination to reach your dreams because your path is unique and today you will get a helping hand with that to heal yourself to heal that heart chakra that solar plex energy later on in our meditation here as well as being given a reiki symbol that can help you in achieving these goals let's switch the cards here let's learn a little bit more about what's going on in your personal life here okay the drama the lovers there's an issue here as far as love is concerned and a separation is needed because you're not a match for each other you are light and i see your partner as maybe perhaps more of a darker soul energy toxic or narcissistic here or just having traits of that where sometimes you feel like no i'm okay i'm all right within the relationship and then you feel like oh my god i want to get out but the universe is saying here that obviously the love is coming out but neither one of these cats looks happy one is light one is dark indicating that there really isn't a close match a close bond it's not possible if you're still stuck on this partner it is not possible here because the death card because what i'm seeing if you were to separate if you might maybe some of you already have but that's where your freedom lies complete separation from a partner here this partner maybe it's another family member maybe it's even a friend that where there is a real close bond whoever this is in your life this person needs to be separated from you because you will do much better without them you will then start reaching for your dreams again and you will feel the energy of support around you that you have been missing and the um, stability the general stability in your life will return or will start if it's never been there before you'll partner up with somebody else and it's all about look at the heart this person that you're going to be with will be helping you heal that heart there is the connection of the lovers again that I'm feeling very drawn to where you need to separate these courts and then there's somebody else who's exactly like you in their in their dreams in their hopes and he or she is going to be your support system to heal the heart yes you can do a lot through um, what we're going to see a little bit later through meditation here but you will basically have a new support system come in but the separation from a past love a current love that's still in your life a friend some connection is needed before this new person can come in or before the two of you can really take off and create this dream together to be unique king of cups you've been standing on your own for too long i'm seeing that you need to um, allow others to come in just like a king needs support and help and guidance at times from people around him to be a good king you need that support to be a good leader and there will be a person here that is going to help you with that also helping your emotional attachment to just life itself will change because i'm seeing that you have the cat your paw here the cat's paw is on a pink flower which to me it represents your heart chakra 
and you're just holding it in there saying look don't play up heart chakra because I don't want to um, have to heal you just yet I want to go on with my life I need to do these things I am determined to do them but I'm not dealing with you right now I'm not dealing with my emotional state I'm just going to put this on the back burner till I've accomplished certain things and then I'll move forward so I'm telling you you're on the wrong path here I've done this many times where I thought no forget about how I feel let's just fix everyone else first and then we'll look at what damage I've caused here to myself or what others have done no you need to uh, not follow my example you need to take that paw off the flower here feel your emotions let them out send this person away and release yourself from anything holding you back from your uniqueness because that's where your dreams lie two of you here once again look at that ten of cups emotional fulfillment help guidance two of you are there again to help each other achieve this emotional fulfillment which is great for your heart chakra to heal and to find stability financial stability in this life as well this will come very quickly once you take steps to heal your heart chakra and to separate from this person that is not um, serving you and is in fact um, they're holding you back for some of you maybe this is more than one person but this collective energy of the person stands out to me they all have the same energy they all want to put you down and not allow you to be unique to just be you but this other person and maybe there's more than one but their collective energy is an energy of embracing who you are supporting this uniqueness and healing your heart chakra in the process here you are a star but you will not emerge up until you learn to nurture yourself here take better care of yourself and then the queen of cups is born feeling your emotions is very important and once again there's lots of yellow healing your solar plexus determination to move forwards and this time on top of the cup there's a fish there and you actually don't have your paw on it you're looking to the universe and going hey um can i eat this fish is this all right being a cat here the universe is going to allow you to do that and for you to then fulfill your dreams because now you've taken the paw off blocking your heart chakra and your heart chakra is producing nourishment for you so that you can thrive and your dreams can thrive let's go a little bit deeper before we go into our meditation here there are a few things you need to pay attention to energetically removing burning things around you that are not serving you now what does that mean when i say burning things we have energetic connections to um, a lot of different things in our lives for example contracts your marriage certificate is a contract not just in the physical but also in the etheric field your layers here of um, what you create in your current reality produces the same energy in you your outer world so that means that if you have not separated um, for example signed that um, divorce paper here then you're still locked in are you still linked in other ways you might have connections there you might be still uh, connected to that person in a business sense or um, there be other areas there's so many I can't tap into them all but there are links to um, names for example are a big one where 
you have joined things in your name and you have not separated that look into everything maybe the financial instability is there because you're paying for things that you didn't actually realize that you were paying for because you didn't pay much attention to what was coming out and at the end of the week or the month you then think oh my god why do i only have this much money left but in the meantime things have been set up that are draining you financially and you need to go and have a look particularly if there are joint accounts here where somebody is taking from you where you're not even realizing it it can be in other areas where you're being taken advantage of and you have not paid too much attention to it and you got to put a stop to it and say to them hang on no we're separating i'm separating my finances from you 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 are on your own you're not taking this from me again and so you can then start off saving instead of it just being drained away from you that might just be some i'm trying to give you as much information as possible to show you the links that we can still have there that connect us whether it is a joint name here or whether it is a uh, a different kind of contract that we have with this person it is important to separate because energetically you will clear that field from you the moment that you act in your physical we don't always have to go and do energy healing first sometimes we can act in the physical to clear our path our soul's path so that we don't stop this advancement and reach our dreams and your heart chakra is certainly involved the lovers coming in new connections taking better care of yourself i can't feel any more cards for you so what we're going to do next is look into your symbol the symbol that would be very important for you to work with and your symbol is shika saiki now this symbol can be drawn into your energy field into your heart chakra what do i mean when i say draw that into your heart chakra it is simple you can trace this symbol with your hand you can literally draw it in front of you and then see this symbol being drawn into your heart chakra that's how you draw it into your heart chakra you can simply visualize the symbol have a copy of it somewhere focus on it and draw the energy into your heart chakra there are different ways different methods but that will bring a um, healing to that chakra and for you i would also recommend seeing yellow light flowing into your solar plexus because light stimulates this energy field yellow light for the solar plexus stimulates it there is usually green light or pink light for your heart chakra but for you the symbol stands out to me for this group here that can be beneficial you can use this symbol in other areas of life because i only want to give you certain direction here so you can learn they there are energy fields that we can work with reiki symbols vibrational energy that can shift everything for us particularly when we focus the symbol on our heart chakra or for that matter any other chakras too because reiki symbols you can use them in different methods different ways of healing experiment explore don't be afraid get attuned to a symbol draw this symbol with your hand a few times to feel the energy ask your guides to attune you to that symbol they're all too willing 
to do that. It is a simple matter of asking and feeling connected to that energy. I won't go into it too deeply, but what we want to do now is to look into your past life. Before I go into it, please always protect, connect, ground and cleanse your energy after. If you're unfamiliar with these practices, please do some research on them. But for now, let's check out what this past or parallel existence in regards to your heart chakra is all about. Let's travel. There's a pathway and a door. The 10th key, the dimensional field here of the 10th key is opening this door up. I can see you wanting to travel in that lifetime, but you're afraid of traveling. No matter what it is, whether it's, it's a boat here, I can see you near a train and you're afraid. The moment that the, the whatever medium of travel you're using presents itself, I can see you shaking as if you have the, a real phobia against travel, even though your desire is to travel. I tell you where this came from too, because when you were younger, you had these big dreams and you were very good at something. It's different for everybody. So imagine whatever you want to be good at for your meditation. And your family was afraid that you would leave them because they didn't treat you very well, but they wanted you to support them. And they were afraid that one day, if you tapped into this gift more and more, you would then leave them, you would travel, you'd go to different places because um, that's what you wanted. And then they started creating these stories of travel that were very negative. They were always saying, yes, 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 no, we feel that you are going to have an accident. If you're going to go on a train or a boat, it's going to sink. You know, the family history here, they made up these weird stories about um, ships sinking with family members on it because there was a curse on the family name. And if you traveled by any other means, they, they all joined together and they all told you these false stories so you would not leave them, leave the area even. And at first you didn't believe them, but the more they put pressure on you, the more this affected you. Eventually one day you tried to run, you packed your bags. I mean, tried to run, you were in your twenties by this stage, 25, 26 and 27 is coming out. So. Maybe you try to get away at that age in this lifetime. And you, um, you got to a train station, a very old train coming in. And I can see you feeling very confident. You're going, yes, I can do this. And then all of a sudden, as the train approached and got closer, you started panicking. And that was your first real panic attack. And you thought, it's a curse. The curse is happening. I can feel it. You knew very little about panic attacks. You always had a bit of fear and um, a bit of sadness, but you were generally a very happy person trying to help others and fix others even. And um, that's why you were in this predicament in the first place. People loved you, your family members here. And when you had the panic attack, you didn't know what to do and you felt cursed that you would definitely die if you got onto this um, boat or this train here that is in front of you. And you thought that it would be better not to tempt fate, that it would go um, wrong if you did this in a, in a very detrimental way. So you went back to your family, never ever tried to fulfill your dreams, believing what you've been told, only to find out in, you lived for a long time, when you were at 80, there somebody made you aware of that. I can see you finding some kind of letter, some information from 
um, a grandfather that you had never ever opened and at that age you were given this this box by somebody I don't know how this all links up trust me I just see these visions and I see you being given this box somebody dropped it off to you and they said you should have this you should look at it and it was all this old stuff in it there was some um has some jewelry in it a pen a notebook there's other things but what was important with this box was this letter that had been written to you when you were a young woman it was very old and you could hardly make out some of the writing but what you understood from it is that the explanation of who your family was and um things that have happened within your family and the manipulation and that you were to take care of yourself. This was supposed to have been given to you on your 18th birthday and here you are 80 years of age. So you felt betrayed, you felt in pain. Now that we know this and this affected obviously your heart chakra and your solar plexus, and you felt like that you've wasted your life. We want to undo this. See yourself back at the train station, that time when you want to run. Feel that nothing is going to stop you, that the stories aren't true. Take them out of your mind and go, leave. Find your dreams here because we've been looking at the card of reach for your dreams. That's exactly what you need to do. Go and reach for your dreams. Once you see your dreams unfold in front of you and you feel happy with creating a new life for yourself, that's when you walk back out that door. You shut the door. You leave that life behind. You thank your guides for their support. You see a silver ray of light washing over that and into your heart chakra. You're then ready to travel back to wherever you are, embracing this new energy. I wish you all the best, group number two and send you lots of love from Australia. Bye. Welcome group number three. Let's have a look inside your heart chakra and see what needs healing. Okay, the first thing that comes out is a disappointment. Maybe feeling that you're lacking something. You're looking at your current situation, but there's something new behind you in the tree. There's a golden cup. That cup is meant for you, but you feel like you're failing at something here. So let's have a look. Let's see what it is that is making you feel this way. Because we're talking about your heart chakra, we want to find the connection here. This something happened to you. And this might have happened in this lifetime. I'm going to explain it to you this way. Because I can see the cat here and the Eight of Cups is coming out and the cat is looking on the horizon. The cat wants to get whatever is there, the cup that's on the horizon. But you've already collected quite a few of them and the one on the horizon was never really meant for you but you were supposed to work with the ones that you've got. How does that translate into your current situation? Because you could have people in your life and I'm going to show you something here that will also help you understand that. you got perhaps people in your life that don't need to be there. But the only way they will go is if you make them aware of it. If you go, okay... I, I don't want to be friends, um, separating from a partner, 
separating from your family perhaps and you make that person or groups of people aware of it maybe this is a work situation but you are not able to do that you feel pain towards that almost like if i do that something will happen to me as well maybe i won't survive financially if i leave a partner behind maybe i'll never find another well-paying job even though the people are bad but i'm secure here it's something that you're thinking a feeling that is causing that and i'm going to show you this i hope the cards will stay together like this but it feels like that the tree continues here and the one side is a life and fruit and flowers are growing on it or maybe just golden flowers here but the point is if we take this away that branch doesn't need to be there sorry it's this one <laughs> here's how to do it in the camera it doesn't need to be there this is the correct um, amount of energy that needs to be in your life if you were to add this branch to it it throws everything out of balance which goes in harmony with the cat looking into the distance longing for that other cup so that means the person that you are thinking of whom you might want to save they don't want to be safe they want to move away that person is not meant to be in your life but this could be different for you it could be a different situation and this is affecting your heart chakra greatly there's a lot of pain associated with that where you feel such great love compassion um, a sense of guilt or a sense of belonging with that person and you can't separate on a deeper level so let's see the helping hand spirit is going to give us it is very important that you find a way to separate in this lifetime because once you burn that energy away from around you that's when life will start taking on a much greater meaning everything will align itself this is perhaps uh, past life energy here as well because the person or the people that are causing this and they have connected themselves to your heart chakra you fought many battles here internally or externally with this person you always have conflict but at a certain level here or on a certain level you also feel some kind of compassion there maybe you don't for some of you you might not even realize that you're still carrying a certain type of compassion for this person you might be thinking no i know who you're talking about and i sent them away but deep down there's some link still in your heart chakra and today's session we will look into that deeply as well as using a reiki symbol to help you move forward here you have a big mission to help others to put your life in alignment but to only choose the ones that want to be in your life here even the card then it didn't want to get quite clear an indication that you need to be very very clear on who belongs with you in your life and who doesn't you need to look at the energy of people around you and for you to create a good home environment or even work environment there needs to be restructuring particularly if you are a business owner and you have staff working for you that are really throwing things off align, out of alignment because that's affecting you directly and you might be fighting these battles with your staff here and perhaps there are a few that need to go sometimes it's not all your staff but if there's one or two affecting the harmony within the um, whatever business structure you have set up that'll affect everyone and everyone will become grumpy 
and not perhaps perform as good as they normally would if they weren't influenced by a person or people that are corrupting the whole lot of them. This is obviously make this fit your situation, could be family life here for some, could be friendships here, but business structure is also coming out and this is causing turmoil for you. And this is when you become very unhappy and you can't see the clear direction in front of you or at the back of you here and you want to hold on to things you want to hold on to those three cups but those three cups are not meant to be there it's done with you need to turn around and start reviewing or who needs to go that comes back out for you again and as we're talking here the garbage truck is just coming and collecting all the rubbish along my street so another indication here for you to throw out the garbage and to bring in better energy because some people that's what they bring to the table that it feels more like we're collecting garbage rather than getting help and getting good energy into our life all these things will be helpful for you to understand to clear your heart chakra now we're talking about in-depth heart chakra healing over many lifetimes you have allowed people to walk all over you and this is something that this lifetime needs to it needs to correct that sort of behavior and feeling and this may have very well happened to you many times already in this lifetime but you are learning to separate you're learning to stand up for yourself and in this lifetime you may even become very good at that because you're meant to you're meant to say no no i'm not accepting this and you're not going to allow these energies to drain your heart chakra anymore let's learn a little bit more about group number three here yes there will be you have had a lot of connections with people who might have even started um, off good and you thought yep this is good I can work with this person I really like this person or uh, people as far as friendships are concerned I can be with this person and then they started changing then they started saying to you well um, I, um, I don't want to do this maybe they became lazy or maybe they interfered in other ways in your life that was very negative and you didn't know where to go from there this is what's happening or what's happened to you in past lives and you are to be aware of when people put on a pretense when they have a mask on or you have a mask on not seeing their true colors you're sort of hiding yourself away from it not really digging a little bit deeper into their history perhaps before you allow yourself to open your heart to them to give them a job or to accept their friendship or for them to become a partner in your life and that's where um, spirit is redirecting you now to let go and to regain your power your energy needs to be rebuilt again and that's what we want to do later on when we look into this past life here for you because you're meant to build some kind of abundance around you we're not necessarily talking just about monetary abundance but abundance in uh, emotional energy your heart chakra here is connected so this abundance gives you a sense of happiness joy and freedom in this life of course that can only be achieved if we send away those that don't serve us that are still affecting our heart chakra and this is becoming very clear here the more cards we pull group number three people have really affected you and really drained that chakra here some claim 
that it is all your fault. You are to blame for all of this. They put themselves on a pedestal and look, I'm so good. It's so great what I've done in this life and you were wrong accusing me of this or doing whatever you were doing. And this has put a real negative energy on you, but it's not that it's true. It's simply that they are putting this thought pattern towards you. And on a certain soul level, even your soul is accepting this. Do not allow your soul to accept this. Stand strong, stand firm, know that you are not to blame, that it is simply manipulation. And you need to understand that you can free yourself from that because the Knight of Cups here, your spirit guides are looking at you and look at that cat. It looks a little bit miserable. It's a little bit skinny. It's gray and black. The heart is clearly showing that's your energy. Maybe you are a little bit miserable and you're feeling as if you've done something seriously wrong, but you haven't done anything wrong. It's the people around you that have made you feel that way. You have great knowledge, greater knowledge than you actually realize of past and parallel existences here. You feel it within your body and your soul is also directing you to clear some of this energy. But I do see soul fragmentation here for you where you have had many lives, perhaps with this particular person or people that have taken a piece of your heart that have then blamed you, manipulated you, and you're still feeling it in this lifetime. So we want to work on that today in past lives. But what you can do in this lifetime is reject any of these negative thoughts. If there is a feeling of guilt there and you feel like, yes, this is really something I've done wrong, Simply start forgiving yourself on a daily basis. I forgive myself, release yourself from that and then come to a point where you stop because you don't always want to be in this, oh God, I'm, I'm such a terrible person. I have to forgive myself. You want to do it for a length of time um, according to your intuition and then you stop because that's it. The universe has accepted your um, plea for forgiveness. And if the universe and your guides accept this, your higher self accepts it, you need to accept it on a more conscious level here as well by saying when these thoughts come back of producing this guilt, by saying I'm sending you away because I have forgiven and my guides have forgiven, the universe has forgiven, God has forgiven me here, if this is you and move forwards because you can't keep lingering in that energy because you will remain stuck. Your heart chakra will remain in that field and not be able to move forward. So this is why we're looking into this for you. If that, if you feel that way, please keep working on that because the universe is already saying that it isn't your fault that you've been manipulated in this life and many past lives as well. Let's learn a little bit more before we go and dig into what has happened to you in a past life here. You have been misled by other people, even maybe in this lifetime to do things that weren't so good. What I'm seeing here is these two cats and they're looking in the window. Both of them want to climb in and they want to get whatever they can or be a bit destructive. I see that uh, one is hesitating a little bit more and that is you. The other one is sort of going, let's go in, let's do this. This is manipulation where you've been misled by others. And for that, that might be that feeling of guilt. Well, I did something. I didn't really want to do it. I feel bad about it. Let it go. Forgive yourself. Um, say a prayer if you um, if that's your practice. Uh, do some rituals to help yourself move on from that because yes, there was manipulation. There was perhaps a little bit of guilt, but I don't see it as, as a lot. I don't see it as a way to punish your soul, to basically feel so downtrodden that you can't 
achieve things in this lifetime that you're not worthy of that a lot of that energy is coming out i do see that from um, a lot of past lives and it's always manipulation by others and uh, perhaps a little bit of weakness on your part where you like to please others you like to help them even though like we've seen with the tree they're not meant to be in your life but you feel like you can help them and make them change and see the light some people will never see the light they don't want to they're darker souls moving on from that let's see if there's any other information here yes there is let's keep talking to you about this heart chakra and what else is coming out healing with archangel raphael can be very important for you i invite archangel raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life connecting with this energy for you particularly is important is helpful calling upon archangel raphael when you need him is needs to be a practice that you perhaps maybe you're already doing it but you need to continue doing it or start inviting this angel into your life to help you with clarifying matters here to help you move forwards reaching out for your dreams because i'm the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence lots more light is coming in in the future here there are shifts coming towards you and you're going to find that you're going to release yourself from anything that doesn't serve you so in the future you're doing this you're moving on from this and particularly over the next three years but there's a period of 30 days some of you are doing a lot of work on yourself and within a month you will notice a big difference already but you're you're going with with this process now over about three years for some not for everybody but three is a number you should connect with and understand that the universe is um, communicating to you when you see the number three or three 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 whatever you're seeing that is direct communication from your guides that healing is on its way i allow my body mind and spirit to flow in intuitively through the changes in life we've been talking about changes more light coming in it's going with the flow sometimes we might feel that nothing is changing but energetically maybe a lot of things are changing and these changes can be so um, drastic when they first come in that we don't recognize them as good but they are good changes because the end result will be beneficial for you i have said this before and you might have heard me say that that this year is like that 2024 is a year of dramatic changes they come in like a whirlwind and they disappear leaving some destruction in their path but once that destruction is cleared up again there is new new energy new growth happening and i've seen this even in my own life where there's been this destructive energy only to bring great new opportunities that's what's happening sometimes here for you at different times throughout the year for some of you watch at 11 11 days something might be happening there don't be afraid of it if you find this and in 11 days something happens to you don't be scared because it'll work in your favor your guides are there this is obviously for a group of you only because the wheel of life life is going to move forwards your heart chakra is going to align itself again and you will experience peace in this life much quieter nicer happier times in the future this is dependent on following your own unique path with courage and strength because a reading you can change the outcome of a reading that means that if you 
really disagree with something that's been brought to your attention, we can change it. We're the creator of our reality. But according to your current path here, if you stick to your uniqueness and you keep going here, understanding the flow of life, you will succeed in achieving this um, peaceful existence here. I'm guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. That's important for you to know that there will be ups and downs. We don't have to panic about every downturn because when we don't panic, things will align a lot faster. Let's see, is there any more information for group number three? No, there's no more information. What we want to do next is we want to go to a past life or maybe a parallel existence. It feels more like a past life here though. One thing that has come out for you is a Reiki symbol known as Honsha Zishonen. Now, Honsha Zishonen is a distance Reiki symbol often used by practitioners to draw in the energy of their clients, to really connect with that energy. This symbol can also be used to draw in what has been lost in a past life. This symbol often comes out for me because I deal a lot with this sort of energy. And by drawing this symbol by, I mean, it's a little bit of a complicated one, but follow the, the outline here of the symbol and keep drawing that into your energy field with the intention of bringing back what was lost on a positive note. We're not talking about negative things here because we never bring back negative things, but we're bringing back positive energy. When you connect with this symbol, you are then setting the intention of exactly that, bringing in that positive energy, which we will dig into now to see what has happened to you in this past life. Always protect your energy field with light when you do these meditations. Set aside some time to really focus on this healing, to pay attention to the symbol here, to ask your guides to initiate you to the energy of this Reiki symbol. It's all about intention, asking and working with that energy. Now, let's see what we can find out, what's happened to you in this past life. Let's travel. There's a pathway, the eighth key, the eighth dimensional field here is um, what's opening this up for you. Let's walk in and see what happens. You were born into a family um, with many brothers and sisters. You were the last one, the youngest. So you were born male here. And you were always uh, wanting to correct wrong things that were done within your family that later on you saw being done in your environment. And you used to walk around, even as a very little boy, with this cape on this crown on your head with a uh, what looked like an old stick, but you used to call it your scepter or your staff. And you used to walk around and you used to say, I am going to rule the world and I'm going to bring peace. I'm going to make everybody happy. And your family looked at you and they, um, your mum and dad sort of just smiled at you and supported that and thought it was quite cute what you did. Your brothers and sisters, though, they teased you about it. They said, yeah. You and bot army type of thing. Who's going to follow you? Everybody is going to follow me because I'm a nice person. And everybody will know that because I'm nice, they will be nice to me and they will help me. And that's how you grew up. That's so beautiful. It's so cute what I'm seeing here. But as you grew up, this remained with you. You said um, to everybody, you got together with um, a lot of different people in your life. You try to um, 
produce that same energy. You try to make people aware of what wasn't right, even on small um, issues here. You used to help people and say, look, I'll help you with this. And you were hoping then that they would help you as well, but it never happened. You had so many people just laughing at you, taking advantage of you, and you were broken hearted in that lifetime. Your own partner in that life, she also laughed at you and she said to you, oh, you're so funny now you know, go out and um, find some better work so that your family can live. And you kept saying, but we can do it different. We can work together here and produce something that really will help us and others. And she'll be saying, no, 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 no. All your ideas, all these things in your head, forget about them, just do this and go out. She'd often even align a job for you. Um, next door, I see lots of fields, lots of farmland here, and you used to help everybody around you fix their um, farms here or help them with farming. Lots to do with outdoor work, which you loved, but you could never get anywhere. People took advantage of you then laughed at you and all your ideas were dismissed so that little beautiful little king never got to fully bring light to the world and bring peace to the world let's do this let's send away everyone everyone in your life currently who is not serving your best interest, who is laughing at you, who's not supporting you. They're all here in this past life. They're here somewhere. I want you to see them. I want you then to send them away, to see them all disappear and see new people coming in. This, of course, is in alignment with you being this, this little king that is who's going to grow up become the big king and be able to produce this energy of peace, be able to distinguish between people that are going to take advantage of you and those who are in alignment with your purpose here that are going to support it. And together you will bring some kind of very, very good energy to Mother Earth. Everyone else disappears out of your life. At this point, I would also like you to draw the symbol Honshazi Shonen to bring the good energy, anything that needs to be brought to the planet and into your life and use that energy to see your life expanding even further bigger, brighter, better, whatever you create is the right choice. Now that you are doing two things here, sending the people away that don't serve you, bringing in new energy and healing yourself and the planet, this is very good karma that will flow over into your current life. Once you've finished meditating on this situation here, you need to understand your previous situation and feel it. Feel the pain on a, on a small level of being rejected. I'm sure you've had that in your current life here. Then you feel the happiness of letting everybody go that did that to you and bring in the new and feel the joy of accomplishment here and healing Mother Earth. This is you. Then you leave that life. You're going to shut the door. You're going to see a white ray of light washing over that life and into your crown chakra and your third eye. You're then going to thank your guides for the healing. You're going to release them from it and you're going to wait and see what changes in your current life here. Well, group number three. I hope that I could be part of your journey here to clear your path to a happy, healthy life. One where you will find a lot of success. And I'm sending you lots of love and healing from Australia. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome, group number four. Oh, they're flying out here. We're going to look at what's happening with your heart chakra and what needs to be cleared. Okay, there is depression, sadness, isolation of spirit. When I say isolation of spirit, I feel that is your own spirit. You're isolating yourself from your true self here. And a lot of that has to do with your base chakra, your stability in life. So your base chakra is directly affected here as well as your heart chakra. They they are linked and we've seen this in another healing too where their solar plexus and the heart chakra was linked with you it's the base chakra stability isn't there let's find out a little bit more about you and what's happened to you there's a need to confront some childhood issues here and to send them away that's where it all started. That's where the sadness started, the depression started. By looking into inner child work, your heart chakra will start healing itself. Your stability in life will change because now you can take action towards stability. Depression might have kept a lot of you down here because there are results awaiting you will not remain in this same field because there is a lot of red around you the border of this card also being red indicates that things will change for you in the near future let's learn what else can be done here in your situation with your heart chakra <laughs> look at that there needs to be healing. You need to talk to people. Um, maybe you need to clear the air with somebody. You need to maybe communicate even with your own soul about an issue. But this is all about your heart chakra and moving on from the issues of your childhood. Clearing the energy, clearing the energetic field of that is important. With you, it doesn't seem like it's direct heart chakra meditations or working on that heart chakra. It's more to do with childhood issues and the inner child, the wounds that that inner child carries. Once you address that, you will be moving forwards. And some of you have worked on this. You have already done the work so that results are awaiting. Please don't give up on your inner child work because that will lead you into a much happier future and your heart chakra will adjust itself. A big thing here is that you believe that you are on the way to success. Even though it might not seem like you're, you're there, you might feel like I need so much more work done before I'm feeling successful, but the work, a lot of it has been done. The results are still um, a little distance away because what I'm seeing is that you need to believe in them. You need to believe in yourself, particularly if you've started self-healing your heart chakra will be freed but it will not happen through you doing let's say meditations here on heart chakra issues it will happen through inner child work on a physical level this can happen when you are more playful when you have fun in life when you become more childlike to revisit an area of life that had been stolen from you or taken away this is what you need to re-establish. Of course, for some others, it depends on your situation. The inner child work would look a little bit different here. But nonetheless, that is where the issues lie in regards to heart-related concerns in your life. There's this need to reach out, to reconnect to... We've already seen this here. 
And I'm not sure where this is taking us, but it's a reconnection either with your own soul, but even here reaching out to people. Maybe these are new people in your life. Maybe they're healers. Maybe they're friends. This depends on you. Maybe they're therapists you're seeing, but it's reaching out to heal these wounds particularly here as you get older there's this big big need because you're you're climbing you will reach um, that stability in life and you will feel a lot lighter if you keep on going let's see anything else anything else for this group here <laughs> once again the heart it it's love is waiting there for you. Friendships, new relationships are certainly in your future. You are building something very big around you at the moment. You might have, you might even feel very isolated like we've seen in, in the first card. The isolation here that I'm focusing on is more to do with you not feeling or wanting to be around a lot of people but that's going to change in the future you will find good relationships so congratulations this group i feel like you're on the right path and if you haven't started inner child work that's the key to success here yeah look at that break free from the chains is there something you're telling yourself on a daily basis that is blocking you? It's holding you back. Identify that thing that it is and reorganize your whole internal energy, the way you're thinking, the way you're acting towards things. There, there needs to be a big change. And once again, I can't tap into that individually, but I can tap into the collective energy of breaking free from the chains. And it's some internal structure you've created over a period of years, perhaps, and you've locked yourself away with that. You, we need to unchain that. And that can come in once again through inner child work. This is particularly true when you think about perhaps people who've been in your life and maybe recently left. That then triggers more healing. If somebody who wasn't meant to be there, who wasn't good for your path, has recently left, this will open the new door to your solar plex energy, which is all about courage. It's all about determination to move forwards in life. And this is also seen in your love bounce here around the heart in the background. There is yellow, the color of your solar plexus. So this means that you will heal on many levels. You will be determined to accomplish things in this life. You will not be thinking back about childhood issues that are holding you back currently. You'll be keeping on going, healing, having fun, moving on, believing in yourself and succeeding here. Your crown chakra and your third eye, both these chakras have come out. Let's talk a little bit about your third eye you will be connecting to a higher understanding through visualization techniques. You guys are very visual. You need to allow yourself to see things. Even if this hasn't unlocked fully, the more you work on the inner child wounds, your third eye will unblock itself and through your determination and certain actions in this lifetime here, this third eye connection to universal energy, your guides, will strengthen your crown chakra, very similar energy. It will open and brighten so that you will trust and believe the things that you are experiencing, seeing, having intuitive feelings about will strengthen. Listen to those feelings. Trust the visions that are being given to you through meditations, even in your dreams. 
understand that spirit is there and wants to work with you to help you heal and move on so that love can abound again in your life moving on look they're supporting what i just said just to let you know that you will be moving on some of you may also be moving and living near the ocean somewhere that is a very good energy here and you've been waiting for some to do this you will get there but there are some more wounds that need to clear before you actually reach that that part of your life here yes there needs to be a certain success and growth in your current life. Once that happens, then you are free to move. This move will be important for you, but it's not going to happen. Spirit isn't going to put you there when there needs to be some growth. And this card wanted to come out. We're going to take both of these. When there needs to be some growth in your current environment where you need to maybe find courage to move on from something, release something that is still sitting there. Yeah, seek the truth. So we're talking about a matter that is unresolved currently. You will only find the truth by being courageous, by digging a little bit deeper, by questioning things. And then once you've found the truth, embrace the truth. Don't shield yourself from it. Understand it, embrace it, release it, move on, be determined to grow from this truth. And then you will find your way out into a different environment where love abounds. This is all healing the heart chakra through the initial healing of your inner child and then everything will start opening up. Yes, the heart chakra. That's it. That's true. Look, they're supporting everything we're talking about here, saying through all of this, your heart chakra will naturally heal itself. You are going to be on the right path if you rebuild your life through inner child work, determination, observe yourself. Some of you are asking, well, how can I do this by myself, Harry? Yes, you can. Just observe your concerns in your current life. What are your biggest fears? What are your biggest worries? What do you do on a daily basis that might show wounds? Wounds that would relate back to your upbringing. I would um, suggest to you that once you recognize these wounds and a period of time in your childhood that relates to it, you then alter it. Cut that period out. Just get rid of it. I'm just feeling like you need to, like a piece of paper, just scrunch it up and throw it away and insert a very happy period of time. Instead of the sadness, you're going to replace it with positive energy. This positive energy will then spill over into your current reality, but there might be quite a few um, incidences in your life that show up as wounds, as pains, as scars within yourself. And you need to go and address all of them without fully reliving them because you've lived them. Let's face it, you don't want to go back to that time. But it's a matter of, uh, think of, think about an old film where you can get the film, you can cut it in certain areas here, certain parts of it you can remove, and you're now putting in a new piece, the piece you like, and then you can play it again and now see your childhood in harmony and happiness. Build on that, restructure that childhood in meditation and start um, addressing this wound in your subconscious mind even to alter what you say to yourself. You will then start healing this wound in your subconscious mind and your current way of thinking and doing things will slowly, step by step, 
move forwards and you will start feeling a little bit happier perhaps each day. It'll be stepping stones. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. But as you work on this, things in your life will slowly improve. And particularly when you believe in yourself. <laughs> yeah, this card refusing to see. Oh, I'm feeling so sorry for this group. I'm sorry this has happened to you because you have really shielded yourself. You've put this helmet on and you just don't want to see anymore. You don't want to know. You just you just want to walk away. You don't want to address this anymore. And when you do the inner child work, there is no way you should relive all those painful memories. That's not what inner child work is all about. But it's restructuring where you alter past energy into something fresh and new for yourself. Let's learn a little bit more. We're going to switch the cards now before we go into a past or parallel life where you're going to be able to do more of this work here to help you in your current situation here. I'm open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. I do see negative ancestral patterns here too. As I look at this old woman and I feel a lot of heaviness around her, I do feel that you carry negative patterns from many lifetimes that your ancestors have also experienced, but for some reason they're all dumped on you now to do something with. And that's why you want to also free yourself from this current energy so that you can release these, these negative influences from your ancestors here. Let's learn a little bit more about that because it's bothering me that they are sort of putting all their issues on you as if they have passed on and now they haven't fulfilled any of these issues. They haven't released themselves from it. And here you are affected by the same issues and they're now just relying on you to do it. We need to do something about that as well. Maybe this will come out in the meditation here. Yes, because you've been trying to do this. You guys are very connected here. Your soul, your spirit has been trying to free itself from negative ancestral patterns and the attachments for over many lifetimes. Um, you, Even though this card talks about, I gratefully accept the abundance the earth bestows on me, these blessings are waiting for you there. But I do see that in this card is like you are getting a little bit annoyed that things aren't moving forwards, that you have to struggle so much and you just want to release yourself from the struggles. And trust me, the struggles will go. Eventually, you will free yourself and giving you a helping hand through these readings can be highly beneficial to do that. Ancestors, they, they are there annoying me that they're here. And I will really focus on that during our past life because you are to be in harmony here, in harmonious flow with the moon's energy in all phases of life. You are releasing yourself and some of you might work with moon energy, full moon um, releasing work, um, working with different moon cycles I'm hearing. There is, uh, and I won't go into that, but basically what you can do is during a waning moon, as the energy goes down, you release things from yourself. You then establish something new, something fresh. So during a waxing moon, you're then building up new energy, bringing in something new and thinking about everything and restructuring the next cycle during a full moon. Let it all come together. Think about what you've released, what you've brought in, and then set the intention of doing more of that type of work. Working with the moon can be very highly beneficial here for you to release yourself from particularly ancestral patterns as well. 
you have Archangel Gabriel coming in so working with Archangel Gabriel can help I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life that's where you want to be heading to bring in this hope that things will change for you trust your intuition ask Archangel Gabriel to work along with you go out in nature here I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings being in nature being childlike this once again comes to our attention here working with the inner child Archangel Gabriel can help you with inner child work she connects with children particularly and can be asked to step in to help with this type of work now I don't feel any more cards here for you I will just check and see no there are no more cards because the message now is repeating itself for this group the symbol Shika So is coming out as a very good symbol to draw over yourself into your energy field before this meditation before you start going into that deeply use that sign draw this sign in front of you and bring it into your energy field ask Archangel Gabriel and your guides to align you and attune you to the energy of that symbol and then work along with it do some more research on that symbol here but it's important that you attach yourself to that Reiki symbol because it can bring healing and clearing energy having said that let's check out this past or parallel existence where we can help remove some of those inner child wounds and ancestral patterns here before you do any type of work well I always say protect your energy connect to your guides ground your energy even cleanse your energy afterwards in the sunlight in nature go out for a short walk cleanse the energy set that intention use the wind particularly on a on a very windy day use that energy of the wind to clear yourself energetically your heart chakra even all your chakras can be cleared through using various methods but the elements of water air earth fire and spirit they're the ones you want to work with on even a daily basis I will not go on much further with this because now we want to check out what goes on in your past life let's see what's happening here oh there's a pathway and the door the the dimensional field the 10th key here is showing up so the 10th key will open this door let's walk in and see what happened to you in this life here you are this is a life of slave oh I know what happened to you oh my god this is this is not nice I mean none of these lives are nice that I'm seeing because we got to bring up the ones that have caused you a lot of damage but this one's particularly bad I would call this um, more of the darker Akashic records which bring out a very um, energy of tortured souls very badly tortured souls here and you were one of them so no wonder if you're feeling this isolation depression or other issues in life this comes back to what I'm seeing here what I see is a child sold into slavery what makes it worse is your parents sold you into slavery what you experience during this time during this existence is can't even be described and let's put it that, that way I don't want to talk about it I don't want to describe it because I feel the pain I feel this when I go into it 
and it just takes my breath away it's whippings it's it's a lot worse sexual abuse it is it's horrendous so i don't want to go on any further with this life it's terrible um so we need to change this we need to release yourself from that because a lot of your ancestors were stuck in positions of slavery. They even allowed this to happen to their, well, their own children. So here you are, you were one of them. And this needs to stop. I would like you to see that you are born into a different structure. We're going to remove that completely from you. I would like you at this time to draw the symbol once again, Shika So. This symbol can help with this removal of negative entities, energies, negative connections here to ancestral patterns. Once that has been done, bring in light over yourself. That's when you create a different life. It's up to you. You restructure it. You open it all up. Create the best, happiest life you can imagine. Really put your energy into the happiness here. Take this to heart. Really absorb it into your heart chakra as well. See yourself particularly as a child being so happy and joyful and peaceful. Everything around you just oozes happiness. Once you've finished, I want you to come back to that door. Shut the door behind you. Thank your guides, particularly Archangel Gabriel. I would always suggest to call her in at the beginning of the healing thanking all of them for being there and releasing them from it. I also see that there's a lot of silver light that flows over that life and into your heart chakra, as well as I'd like you to breathe in this silver light into your body. Then you are ready to come back to where you are now, come back to your consciousness, Understand that this now has changed. Your energy field has just been altered. Feel the silver light around you. Take it with you everywhere. Ask perhaps Archangel Gabriel to step into your life at various stages to remain with you if you wish. But it's always important to release your guides from the healing first before we invite them back into our current life once you have done that and this is up to your intuition how you feel about it once you have done that watch and see how you feel over the next few hours days and weeks this is healing on deeper levels here for you I hope that I could give you a helping hand in releasing this, in moving forwards with love that is unbound, with bringing in new people, new energy, new happiness. Sending you lots of this love from Australia. Bye. <laughs>